Chi family. Hi family, you are on to the Chi family. Happy New Year. Okay, this is our first video this year. Where have we been? We haven't been uploading. There was something behind it. Okay, so where have we been? Before we get right into this video, we want to thank you so much for all your support. We appreciate it all. We love you. Thanks to those who reached out, who called, who sent messages. We appreciate you all. God bless you. Okay? And today, we'll be updating you where we have been, how, and then a bit reminder of your back-to-school activities. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing today. Right, kids? Yes. Okay, so if this is your first time here, don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel. You will not regret it. And don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified if we upload any of our amazing videos. You will enjoy it on the Chief Family channel. Okay? So let's just get right into this video. I been where have we been I tested positive for COVID-19 so how do you go about when you test positive what do you do I think the most important thing that you should do when you test positive is your mind control your mind control is what COVID is all about I had COVID I was sick. If I didn't test for it, I wouldn't have known that I had COVID. But just immediately it tested positive. The fear, the everything will be into you. Even when you have not even fallen sick, you will just be sick straight away. So COVID, the first step is to have a mind control. Control your mind. Take it like nothing. Treat it like every other illness and you see you will just recover quickly. But mine, I didn't recover quickly because people that have underlying illness, it's always worse. So I was really, really sick. I was having shortness of breath. I was being weak, loss of taste, too many things. Then the children started falling sick and you know you have to self-isolate when you have to self-isolate with children there is a particular child that will never self-isolate when the mom is at home so there's a child that's always giving you hug coming all the time so what do you do with such children you start giving them treatment straight away like you use the native herb ginger garlic and lime lemon boil it if you have lemongrass you use lemongrass and boil it and inhale it and then spray spray over oil on your pillow when you're sleeping and make sure the room is warm everywhere is hot it will help everybody in the house and also try to allow air into the house sometimes keep the window open keep the door open for passage of air it will really really help so that is what I did and what the case did. Well, Stephanie was so helpful when, when I, um, I, when I called Stephanie to test her, she, she was not scared and she was eager to see what the test was all about and she was calm. So I encourage you when you feel sick, test everybody in your household. And Christabel did her own test herself and it was also negative. And Christopher was really, really helpful. And she said, how did you manage when you don't, you didn't have to come close to mom? Um, I was kind of sad about it. I was like, oh, she has to self isolate. I don't want to get, so I don't get COVID. And also I was helping my mom by doing no shopping. Since she had COVID and couldn't go out, I had to be the one doing the shopping. Yes. I'm going out and buying things. <laughs> yeah, it was actually kind of fun. But yeah. yeah, I enjoyed it. Okay, so she enjoyed it. So we helped each other, like literally we helped each other. When Christopher is out shopping for food, Stephanie is here helping out, bringing the hot water, 
for coming to drop hot water for me and all this and that so teach the children how to walk around the house how to do the simple simple things so that it will be easy for you when the worst happen we are not praying for it but it will always come i mean like we are living in a world of uncertainty now because you can't really tell what will happen then they can't really tell because we still go out there to do our work to come back and you can never tell and the children are going back to school so you have to get their mind ready so that is what has been happening and i think i have fully recovered and i'm strong and i'm getting there even though it's been for like three weeks or so but i'm getting there so the next thing we want to talk about is how to get yourself ready to go back to school i think we had a video about this i'll leave it in the description um so you can check it out how to get ready for school and now we are going to add how to get your stuff that you don't need you don't need before new year how do you sort out your stuff things that you don't need so i'm gonna say what we do so what we did was we took all our clothes out and then tried them and see so the ones that didn't fit us we put them into one pile the ones that fit us we put them back where we put them into another pile and then the ones that didn't fit us that weren't good we threw them away but the ones that were still in good condition we put them in our bags uh, to give them to charity and um, we kept ones that did fit us and that were still in good condition so that is what we do so did you select your socks and your underwear is this yeah yeah did you wash them yeah okay so before we go back to school sort them out yeah i sort them out so i need the ones that might and i wash them if they're dirty good so that's what stephanie does so stephanie always having rip tight tight that has hole every now and then so as a parent it's just a quick reminder what i do to reduce the workload for me is before just as the school close when i get a little time i will bring everything out sort out the ones that are not good the rip one the one that has all the white that are really really dirty i will sort them out on one side and then those ones that i know i'm going to be reusing i will wash them and get them ready and and then once it's 30th or 31st ironing is done book is sorted bag is washed pack lunch is ready everything is ready the food for that week is also ready so that we'll be ready to go we don't have to struggle because we, the kids has been on holiday for a while and i also was sick so i didn't work i was at home as well so for you not to struggle as a mom you start on time to pick one 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 thing and put it there and put it there and put it there then the next morning you're going to school you are ready and when it comes to the kids hair what i do is i start on time once the day they like once they finish their school i'll tell them to take off their hair taking off their hair after taking off their hair i wash every week mm. then to get make sure the hair is clean and then i will start plaiting because if you know your strength you know how to organize and arrange yourself so that is what i do i plant it and i plant one person say two days depending what i'm doing or how busy i am i will just get the hair ready i know that yes i am ready i get my own hair done we are ready to go iron is done dress everything school bag everything is set and then you don't have to struggle by doing this you will spare yourself some time some energy to use for your school runs mm. and another thing i want to say to parents out there you are doing an amazing job but please don't kill yourself if you know that you travel so far to do shopping please buy some bread and leave them in the freezer you can still use bread that is from the freezer it's just for you to bring it out take out the slices you need and leave it out in the fridge it will be ready for you in the morning to use 
you know you can make your chick cook your chicken and put them in the freezer bring it out and heat it up and do chicken mayo you can boil your egg and use it for egg mayo if your children take pack lunch from home mm -hmm. so you can do a whole lot of things. you can make your pizza slice them and put them in the freezer and bring it out and heat it up in the morning you can easily scramble egg it doesn't take time these are the easy easy food that you can do to help you get along like work easily the first day of school or every day of your life as the children are still going into school and you are still assisting them to do things that they can do things on their own so we said we should come and say hello to you because we haven't seen you for a very long time and we are all here excited waiting to see what 2022 will bring along but we want to enjoy the moment with you we thank you so much for all your support as always we love you from the chief family bye bye everyone bye. and we are happy to get back to school yes she's happy to go back to school so we we'll see you in our next video don't forget to like subscribe and share this video okay and don't forget to bang the bell okay don't forget to bang the bell we love you bye, bye. bye. Thank you.